Harry Gregg, the former Manchester United goalkeeper who became known as the hero of Munich, has died at the age of 87. Harry Gregg was one of the Busby babes on board the plane that crashed in 1958, killing many of his Manchester United teammates. Well, he survived the disaster and pulled several people out of the wreckage, including a mother and baby and his teammate, Sir Bobby Charlton. Our sports correspondent, Katie Gornall, reports. Greg was happy to be remembered as a competitor and a footballer, but to many he was so much more, a man with qualities that shone far beyond the football pitch. Munich Airport and wreckage that tells the story of the dreadful disaster. On the 6th of February 1958, a plane carrying 44 people crashed in Munich, on board with the Manchester United team returning from a European Cup tie. Somehow, Greg survived and twice returned to the burning fuselage to drag strangers and teammates, including Bobby Charlton, to safety. 23 people died in the Munich air disaster, but for Greg, the shocking death toll would have been much higher. I know what happened. I know I was there. I know I was very fortunate. And, uh, I could do without it, but I was there with a lot more people, and I was one of, one of the lucky ones. Greg returned from Munich being hailed a hero, but mentally scarred by what he'd seen, and there was no time to rest and recuperate. Just 13 days after the disaster, he was back playing, spearheading a United side that would reach that season's FA Cup final, and testing his resilience to the limit. A goal by Lofthouse. Remarkably, after this, he carried on. The same year he went with Northern Ireland to the World Cup and was later named the best goalkeeper in the competition. And Greg, despite his injury, in great form. Today, the many to pay tribute included his former teammate Bobby Charlton, who said Harry was a fantastic goalkeeper, but more importantly, he was an incredible human being, a shining light both on and off the pitch. The former Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson added, Harry was a man of great character and a true legend at our club. I loved his company and the many pieces of advice he gave me. Greg spent nine years at Old Trafford, cementing a legacy as one of United's and Northern Ireland's greatest goalkeepers. But Munich, he said, always cast a shadow over his life. And later he found solace in poetry. There are those gone down that long, long road before us but each morn we try and keep them in our sight. In memory's eyes, the Busby babes are all immortal. The red devil spirit lives, it never died. Harry Gregg, the hero of Munich, who's died at the age of 87. You're going to start us with a tribute, really, to a remarkable life. Well, Harry Gregg, who is a name that, obviously, if, uh, many people will remember but let's just have a look at a picture of Harry Gregg. He's died overnight at the age of um, 87. He was one of the famous Bosby babes. Remember them? Mm -hmm. That was the Manchester United team that was involved in the Munich air disaster in 1958. This man here, Harry Gregg, um, he was the Manchester United goalkeeper, goalkeeper for Northern Ireland too, and he was a hero on the night of the air disaster. That's the only way you can describe him. He's been called the hero of Munich. He pulled people from the wreckage, including Bobby Charlton, Jackie Blanchflower, Dennis Violet, a mother and a baby. He pulled, he helped to save his manager's life, Sir Matt Bosby. Um, and here we have, you know, this is him at, at the time. Um, a real, real hero in many, many ways. Also, basically, one of the best goalkeepers that Manchester United has ever had. I think he kept something like... 48 clean sheets. He was signed to Manchester United from Doncaster. They paid £23,000 for him, which was a record at the time. He got a signing on fee of £30, and he said um, he decided to sign for Manchester United within 10 minutes of meeting Sir Matt Busby. They had, like, a meeting, chatted to him, and he said within 10 minutes I, mean, I knew. Amazing. So, yeah, Harry Gregg has died overnight in Northern Ireland, surrounded by his family. It's been announced by them in the last hour or so. Thank you.